Come back in. We're on your side with a very timely subject here. We're, you know, we're obviously seeing the catastrophic damage down there in Louisiana. It is a reminder that if you have home insurance, you want to make sure that your home gets built back the way it was. So what do you shop for if you're looking to get home insurance or switch? Marshall Clay with the Wealth Group joined us, joined us this morning with some things to consider this morning. Good to see you this morning, sir. Hey, good to see you, Mike. It is it is very timely. Uh, we know people just do, are now shopping and getting into new homes and uh, they may have a question. So what what should, are some things they should consider if they're looking into buying a home insurance? Yeah, I mean, particularly in the South, I mean, we, mm. we are very familiar, unfortunately, with extreme weather. And by the way, your, your station does a great job covering that. Thank you. Um, and, and there's and there's obviously you know tremendous human costs, but there's also some financial costs that people have to deal with kind of long after people have kind of moved on to, to the next story in the in the uh, news cycle and so one thing you know that i see a lot of people you know glossing over is the difference between uh what's called repair costs and what's called a actual value uh, coverage uh, for their homeowners insurance and so there's two big distinctions there so if you have if you have replacement cost coverage um, that's going to fully replace or repair any damage that occurs to say your roof, for example, mm -hmm. whereas actual value coverage may actually take into account some, some type of depreciation. So, for example, if you have a if you have a, um, a you know, roof damage um, and say you're 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 you've had that roof for maybe 10 years, the insurance company may say, well, look, that that roof has a 20 year life expectancy. So if the, if the roof replacement costs ten thousand dollars, they may only pay you 50 percent of what it costs to fully replace that that, that roof. So if you, if you think about that, it really causes you to have a lot of extra cash sitting on the sidelines. You know, you got to come out of pocket a lot more to fully replace that roof. So that kind of leads me into my second thing. You know, we're talking about deductibles and co-insurance. So deductibles, mm -hmm. are those out-of-pocket upfront costs that, that uh, the, the, the insurance have to bear, and then the co-insurance is those shared costs. So that kind of goes back into your planning if you know how much you could be on the hook for in the event that you have damaged property, it allows you to plan ahead for that. You know, Marshall, too, when you Google home insurance companies or auto insurance companies, you look at the reviews, you really can get stuff all across the board. What should you trust in terms of getting a company that you know is going to not try to buy cheap parts to replace something on your car or, for that matter, your home? I would say that, you know, one of the best strategies I've adopted and, and I think, you know, many others you do as well is just asking around, ask friends and family what their experience has been like with certain insurance companies, because the pricing is going to be very similar unless you go with a really, um, you know, high level coverage where, you know, you got to come out of pocket and there's, you know, it's very, very few uh, deductibles and co-insurance, but ask around because the responsiveness and the ability or the willingness of these companies to actually pay claims is very important. I always tell people, no offense to my insurance friends out there, but insurance companies are in the business of collecting premiums, not necessarily paying out claims. And so, you know, some insurances, uh, insurance companies fight you tooth and nail, you know, when you file a claim. Some are very responsive and very open with paying those claims out. So I think asking around, doing your due diligence is very important. Very important, very important information this morning. And because uh, you, know, you hope you never have to use it, but when you do, you want it to be backed up uh, by somebody who, who you know you trust. All right, thank you very yep. much. Marshall Clay with the Welsh Group, we appreciate it. All right, thank you, Mike. All right, we got the good day.